Hello everybody from a very chilly New York City. This is Zach Hampel and as you can see I'm here outside Madison Square Garden and look what else you can see. You recognize this guy right here? Alex Katz, prospect in the Baltimore Orioles organization, a pitcher. I've gotten him in some videos before. We are going to a college basketball game tonight and as you can see based on his jacket it's St. John's where you went to school. Correct. Anyway, like I said, it's cold out here. Let's get inside. Let's check this place out. Let's do it. Come on, man. Get off your phone. My we, bad. we got some college basketball to watch here. The game didn't start yet. Let's go. Do you have any idea where we're going? Yeah. I have no idea where we're, we're going. We're going to uh, scan our ticket now. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a big fan of that sound right there. The dun dun This place looks a lot nicer than I remember. I don't know when the last time was that I was here, but it definitely was at least a few years ago. And when did they renovate this place? It's been... They did like three phases. I think it was like four or five years ago, maybe. It could have easily been longer than that since I was here. So yeah, pretty slick. As you can see, it's about half an hour until game time. Got here nice and early for batting practice. So do we... Go and try to catch some balls now. Can, can we get down closer and see the action? Hey, what's up? He just realized it's him. In this city, we don't play favorites. Here, you gotta earn everything. I have no idea who any of these players are, but that guy who's dunking all over the place, I like him already. So the name of the St. John's team is? The Red Storm. Red Storm, and they're playing Georgetown tonight. Yep. What, what's Georgetown's name? They're called the Hoyas. Oh, I guess I've heard of them. I know nothing about college basketball, you guys. I have never even been to a college basketball game aside from being a student at Guilford College and wandering into the gymnasium a couple of times and seeing some D3 action there. So this is very much a learning experience for me. Underway here at MSG. The Johnnies are out to a quick two to nothing lead. We are almost halfway through the first half. Georgetown is on top by two points, 16 to 14. I think it's anybody's game at this point. That's my expert analysis. Monster. 
It is halftime here at MSG. Do you want to tell people the score? Time for an update. It is 31 St. John's, 31 Georgetown. That is right, we are tied. And you know, you can see a lot of people standing up in the background heading to the concourse. It's gonna be packed up there. I am gonna go try to get some food right now. Lots of options here. They have sushi, they have steak, they have spicy chicken sandwiches. This guy got some chicken tenders earlier. I think I'm gonna go in search of some pizza. Just keep it simple. And the second half is underway, and uh, I picked up a couple of jokers here that I recognize from the New York baseball stadiums. What's up, guys? And we have, we have Alex down here as well. So right now, ooh, it's a close game. Georgetown just made a basket, and they are winning 41 to 37, and there's 15 minutes and 48 seconds left in the second half. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. Time is running out for the Johnnies. There's less than five minutes to go, and they are down by seven points right now. Not a good situation. Okay, so Ryan up here said that I need to do a play-by-play. -play. So here's what it would sound like. All right, the guys in green shoot the ball, and it goes in, and the crowd is upset. And now here comes St. John's with the ball across half court, and some big guys driving in and banks it off the backboard. Two points. And now the Georgetown team is dribbling back toward half court. How am I doing? And there's a guy with big frizzy hair who's dribbling. He passes to the left. There's a guy at the top of the arc. Just a chant that was going, these refs suck, these refs suck. And now Georgetown is shooting free throws. They're up by one point. Oh, so he made that one. So Georgetown is now up 64 to 62 with a minute and one second remaining in this game. a final here at Madison Square Garden, unfortunately for this guy, and all Johnny's fans out there, St. John's lost. Final score? Uh, 69 to 66. That's right, it was a three point margin. They had the ball with a few seconds left. Ah, just fell short. Close, but no cigar. But I had a great time hanging out. I might do more non-baseball videos coming up. Anything is possible. And this guy is gonna be heading off to spring training in the next month, month and a half. So we'll see where he ends up in the minor leagues to start the season. And I'll try to get him in a video at some point. So you'll definitely see more of him. But for right now, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.